guys, welcome back. Great to see you. Aren't you all looking well over there? Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the dresses. All of the dresses that are here adorning this rack, considering the time of year with event season about to start. Now, with the silly season about to kick off, although there might be some of you out there that have already started being silly, in which case, high five. I figured I should do my part and share with you a heap of options for you to adorn your bodies to attend said events. Now, if we haven't met before, then it would probably be useful for you to know that I am petite. I stand tall at 5'2", and so the dresses that I'll be sharing with you and trying on for you will be from that perspective. Down here is probably a little bit more accurate. And so if you are a little bit taller, then it's just a matter of imagining the dresses sitting a little bit higher on you. There are a fair few midi dresses that I will feature in this video that sit more like maxi dresses on me, which I don't mind, probably because I'm just used to it. And if you're watching this video as a fellow petite like me, then it is worthwhile that you know that none of these dresses have paid a visit to the tailor. <laughs> These are straight off the rack and they suit my frame and I'm pretty proud of that fact because it is really hard as a short person to find event dresses considering they're always a little bit too long or don't suit proportions and so I'm going to take those kudos if you want to send them my way. You know, I've got a fair few dresses hanging up on this rack. I've got 12 in total and I have curated my selection to suit a variety of tastes, cater to various events that you might be attending, as well as suit a range of budgets. So for the purposes of this video, I have categorized the dresses into various buckets. The first bucket is the mini dress bucket, which I will be starting off with, followed by the fun dress bucket, i.e. dresses with prints. I needed a catchy category name. And I will wrap things up with minimal dresses for those of you that enjoy wearing more of a paired back, muted color palette. So let's get this dress party started so that you can prepare for your party. Let's kick things off with mini dresses. I've got three options here that prove that good things come in small packages. How's that for a mini dress cliche? And the first one that I have to share with you is one that you might recognize from my recent Suzanne video where I did an autumn winter buy up even though we are in the middle of spring summer here in Australia but let's not address that right now. This is the Numia dress and this has to be one of my favorite dresses in my collection at the moment. She is a mini style dress with this wrap over detail like so. She's got really cute polka dots, a subtle puff sleeve and she comes with long sleeves. Now this dress is offered in three or four different colors and prints at the moment but curiously this black and white polka dot version is the only version that comes in silk. Every other version comes in a viscose and obviously silk is a lot more premium both in its look and its feel and so I think that if you've had the new Mia dress on your radar then I would recommend that you go for this colorway because the fabric is just so much more premium and it just drapes a lot nicer on the body in comparison to viscose. Now before this arrived and before I had a chance to try it on I was a bit worried about the neckline and it being a little bit too open. I didn't want my girls to pop out not that my girls are large anyway but I just didn't want to show too much skin and that hasn't been a worry at all with this dress you can obviously adjust the neckline to sit how you'd like it to sit and it's just a really lovely v-neck now in terms of the length because this is a mini length dress I would say that this is a more conservative mini length style going around so it sits just above the knee not too high up on the thigh to the point where you have to constantly adjust and pull your dress down because let's face it guys that's not a great look and I keep saying this on my videos and on my blog but I do consider myself to be a little bit more conservative a bit more of a fuddy-duddy when it comes to my clothes I don't really like showing that much skin but I actually don't mind the mini length on me now I don't know maybe it's like this late 30s awakening where I've only got this small window to be young and youthful and I want to embrace it and so that's option number one the next style that I wanted to share with you is this amazing iconic design from this Australian designer called age and this is a recent purchase in the last couple of months. Now, this is called the Mimosa Dress, and initially it came out in a midi length, but as you know, I'm petite. The midi length actually sat a little bit too long on me because it has quite a puff to the dress. There are puff sleeves, it's got a bit of a puffed skirt, and I think I just look like a massive marshmallow in the midi style, but the mini style, now, this is a whole different cup of tea. This one is so flattering for your petite, a really conservative mini length. Now, to address the elephant in the room, or at least the elephant that I can see in the room anyway, it's that the design of the dress features cutouts. There are cutouts on the side, as you can see here, and for the longest time, I have been so against dresses with cutouts. 
And I think there are a number of reasons why I've been so against it. I think the first reason is the fact that I think that they're just a little bit too trend based. Another reason is the fact that I don't think that cutouts are always appropriate to the types of events that I attend. Like I wouldn't sport cutouts to a work event, for example. But I think probably the main reason is the fact that I'm not confident enough. I'm just not confident in my body and confident enough to wear something with cutouts, particularly cutouts that can be quite revealing because of course there are so many beautiful women out there that look amazing in dresses with cutouts. And so I'm not gonna deny the fact that they look incredible. But coming back to this dress, I actually find the cutout details on this design to be rather subtle. So where the cutouts are positioned, there's actually a thick tie belt that you tie across it. And I think that this is the saving grace as to why I like the cutouts on this dress. It makes it so much more subtle because I did try on some other age styles that had the same cutout without the belt and I just wasn't comfortable with how much skin it was showing in those places and so the belt makes a huge difference but all things considered this is just one of those amazing summer white dresses that you can just throw on it's not too tight so it's incredibly comfortable to wear and I really can't wait to wear this one more this next dress that I have to share with you has a completely different vibe. It's also from Age though, I bought them both at the same time. And it's this sleeveless denim mini dress here. This is a 90s classic that's been remixed for today. Now this dress is made of, I would say, a medium weight denim. And so it's really flattering in that it sucks you in because it's quite figure hugging. There are lots of cute little design features that make this dress a really luxe, casual dress option. For example, the buttons that Age use, they're really quite interesting as well as the belt loops. They're a design feature in itself. And this dress is one of those deceivingly simple designs, but it's actually incredibly stylish. It's easily dressed up with a pair of boots or a pair of heels, and it looks great with a pair of sneakers as well. It's in one of those easy to match classic blue denim colors. Now this dress looks equally as good, just worn on its own, as well as layered with a long sleeve t-shirt underneath if the weather is a little bit cooler. It's incredibly versatile, which should be no surprise considering denim is incredibly versatile and a really playful and fun piece. Now moving on to fun dresses, that is dresses with prints, the fun dresses. I have a few that I wanted to share with you and the first one is this dress here from Reformation. This is one that I bought last year during all of those November sales. And I think when it comes to Reformation, I think that you should really only buy them when they are on sale because they are quite pricey when they're new. Now Reformation dresses are really flowy, really feminine, and they almost always feature a fun floral print. Now obviously this print is old season, but the style is very much still available. This is one of their signature styles. I really love this style because the straps are adjustable. Also it's only fitted at the waist and and then afterwards it's just quite loose fitting and very comfortable if you intend on eating a lot which is what you always should be doing at a party and it's also got this ruching panel at the back which again goes to how comfortable the dress is when you're wearing it now another feature of a reformation dress that makes it really recognizable is the fact that it features a fun split and the split just really goes to the overall reformation dress vibe and it really enhances the way that the dress moves and flows when you're wearing it so this dress has been in my wardrobe now for over a year but there are a heap of other options which i'll link below the next dress that I have to share with you is one that is new to my collection and it is this Zimmerman number here which I managed to pick up on sale. I posted about this on my blog and so many of you have liked this dress as well. It's another polka dot number, very similar to the size of polka dots that um, is on my Cezanne dress. This one is in another sort of muted colour palette. It's in a soft peach colour but it's got these fun lilac polka dots. This one is also made of 100% silk and it features this cute little ruffle detail here at the waist. Now on the model, the very tall model, might I add, it sits just below her knee, but on me, it sits more like a maxi dress, but not like a dress that looks too large for me. I actually quite like the length of this one. It's a really lovely, just playful tea style dress. Now this is a dress that I'll be relying upon for the more conservative events where I don't want to show much skin. Even when the weather is a little bit cooler, it's a great option. I really love the color and I think it really flatters my skin tone. Now, even though this dress is on sale it's still pretty well stocked in this color and it also comes in two other colors which are also on sale a fuchsia tone as well as a navy which would be perfect for upcoming autumn winter events the next dress that i have to share with you the next fun dress is this 
really cute relaxed summer dress from staple the label which is an australian label this dress is a really comfortable and lightweight option it's a really breathable sort of cotton blend there are adjustable shoulder straps which is really important to me but also this really lovely detail at the back here which ties up into a neat little bow and it's just a really lovely design feature now because of the way that this dress is designed it's got a little bit of this ruching detail and a little bit of fabric that's gathered in this bust section here if like me you're part of the itty bitty titty committee then you don't actually have to wear a bra with this dress which just makes it so much more comfortable to wear it's lined and so you've got nothing visible or showing and it just makes it a really breezy summer option now i'm not really that huge on print says the girl that's wearing a really bright top underneath a blazer right now but i'm branching out lately and having a great time of it i would say this is more of a muted print considering the colors that it features the style of this dress very much reminds me of the signature dress from Mato. I think that's how you pronounce the name of the designer, but it's got those thin straps with the low back and the flowy skirt. This does not have the same price tag, but it's equally as beautiful. And to round out the fun dresses on this rack, I have another dress here to share with you, also from Staple the Label. This one here is a really lovely blue and white number. Now this dress is made from quite a heavyweight linen fabric, which makes it more of a dressier option. And so I would say that this would be perfect if you were attending like an outdoor wedding, for example, or a garden party. The style of this dress is also really cute and really feminine. It features these thick straps here and this sheer detail all over the bodice. Again, if you you hold membership to the itty bitty titty committee then you don't have to wear a bra with this one either which makes this a really comfortable option now on the model this one looks more like a midi dress but on me it's more like a maxi as you can see i still think that it's really lovely though and the colors of this dress just so remind me of the greek islands which is where my husband and i honeymooned all those years ago and so this dress is just an all-round happy vibe dress To wrap up, the final category of dresses that I have to share with you are ones that have more of a minimal vibe and more of a paired back sort of neutral colour palette. And the first dress is this navy one here that's got these really awesome puffy sleeves and this shearing ruching over at the bodice here. Now this dress is from a label called Sleeper and it's their signature Atlanta style dress. And this dress is hugely popular. It's everywhere. It comes in so many different colors. It also comes in a variety of prints. It's been around for a number of years now. And the design is a really easy one to wear. You can wear it on your shoulder, but a lot of people also style it off shoulder. And that's thanks to the elastication at the top of the sleeve but there's also elasticated wristbands which means that you can wear the sleeves pushed up slightly to have more of a puffy sleeve or you can wear them long depending on how you like it but it just means you've got a little bit more versatility and everything's adjustable and you can sort of sit it where you want it to sit. In a lot of the lighter colours and the pastels that it comes in the dress has a really boho vibe and it looks really lovely and feminine and because of the style it's really lovely and flowy but predictable me I went with a classic navy and I'm so glad that I did because I can see myself getting a lot of wear out of this dress. I've seen a lot of people style this with strappy sandals equally I've seen a lot of people style this with like high stiletto heels i really love how it looks with both and i just think that it gives off the perfect relaxed summer vibe now it's worthwhile me noting that sleeper the label is actually a label that is based out of the ukraine both of the founders are ukrainian and i think that most or all of their pieces are made from a factory in kiev and so it goes without saying that it's a worthwhile business to support i had a bit of a browse of their website and not only do they go into a lot of detail about how they're a sustainable business and how they are zero waste and they're very conscious of the environment but there's also a section on their website about how you can help Ukraine and they share a fair few resources there as to the things that you can do and so not only do they make beautiful dresses but it's certainly a label that is deserving of your time just to have a bit more of a browse and a bit of a read as to where they come from and what they stand for. The next dress that I have to share with you is probably one of the dressier ones hanging on my rack and it's this dress here in this espresso brown shade from Staple the Label. This dress is just a beautifully minimal halter neck dress but it's the back that's the star of the show. It features this tie up section here which just makes it a lot different to a traditional halter neck dress and it's just a really beautifully lightweight piece to wear. The colour is described as espresso brown but I actually think that it's probably more of a really dark burgundy shade which I really love because it's got more of a cool tone to it. 
Now I really like the length of this dress on me because it hits me right at the ankle which means that it can be worn as an evening gown but it looks equally as good when you're wearing it with a pair of flat strappy sandals and just in a more casual look for a garden party for example because it's just one of those versatile pieces that can be styled up and down really quite easily. It's just a really nice little number. Like I have here more of a casual dress and this one is from Arquette. This one also forms part of my summer workwear wardrobe because of how breathable it is and just it's a black dress. It's just so easy to style up and down, right? And so for a black dress like this, which looks great with a pair of loafers or a pair of sandals, it equally looks as great with a pair of strappy heels. I really love the quality of Arquette's pieces. I mean, even though this is designed to be a very casual and relaxed piece, you can spruik it up really easily to an event. So if you've got a black dress in your event dress arsenal, then you've really taken care of yourself and you've covered a lot of bases. And lucky last, but certainly not least, is this shirt dress here from Scanlon Theodore, which I picked up a few months ago now. I've worn this to a wedding and I've worn this to work. It's just a really beautifully minimal shirt dress and I appreciate it looks rather simple on the hanger. It doesn't have very much rack appeal, but I assure you, it's, it's really quite extra when you put it on. There's a slight puff sleeve situation. It's got these interesting lapels. It comes with a thin belt in the matching fabric, which means that you can define your waist. It is designed to be a midi length, but surprise, surprise, on me it sits at the ankles. But with a pair of heels, it looks pretty sweet. Now this is made from Scanlon Theodore's parachute material and if money was no object, I would like to own all of Scanlon Theodore's dresses in this parachute material because I really love the fabric, I think it's really flattering, I think it's low fuss, it doesn't show creases very easily, it just sits on your body really nicely and all of the dresses that they have from this material are all just really sophisticated designs, all very minimal neutral tones that would integrate really easily into your work wardrobe but they're dressy enough to also wear after hours. The cut of this style is very flattering. All right, so thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope I was able to give you a little bit of inspiration for your upcoming party prep. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that I know that you did. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the best time at all the parties that you're attending. Feel free to extend an invite to me too. I love a good party. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!